안녕하십니까? 이 좋은 치과의 손영희입니다. Greetings, I'm Dr. Son Young-hui of E-Good Dental Clinic. Let me introduce the online surgery case of the day. You can see that number 14, 15, 16, 17 are missing. The patient required sinus graft as well as GBR. Placing implants simultaneously could be good, but the situation did not allow it. Implants were not placed and only bone grafting was done. If you look at the intraoral photo, there is significant buccal depression in number 14 and 15. The patient has history. GBR was done previously. But the bone regeneration in number 14 and 15 was not good. Fibrous healing occurred and there were problems. The plan was to do sinus graft again along with the GBR to restore bone quantity. If you look at the panoramic image in number 14 and 15, significant defect exists. In CT, in number 14, perhaps you may think that implant placement may be possible, but if you look at number 15, 16, 17, you can see extremely limited sinus. The amount of residual bone is not even worth measuring. In the case of this patient, the lateral wall of sinus was very thin. If you do osteotomy for lateral approach unintentionally, the lateral wall can be damaged with just the instruments. Osteotomy needs to be performed with utmost care. Following sinus graft, the GBR was planned for number 14 and 15. Let's take a look at the surgery.
Did you enjoy that video? Let's look at the images taken during surgery. As shown, the lateral wall of the sinus was extremely thin, almost to the point where osteotomy was unnecessary. Periosteal elevator and other tools that can be used in such circumstance can damage the sinus wall. You need to take utmost to care. After performing osteotomy, out fracture of window was done, sinus membrane was elevated. I used AOS collagen for sinus grafting. I've been using AOS collagen continuously. I don't think there will be any problem in considering the AOS collagen as the same as particulated bone graft 
I have applied it in the sinus. When you use collagenated bone graft material in sinus, the other advantage you can gain here is that if there's unintentional sinus membrane perforation that we're unaware of, in the case of particulate bone graft material, it can scatter inside the sinus, leading to secondary sinusitis. However, if you use collagenated bone graft material, the possibility of it scattering into the sinus goes down significantly. This is self-aggregation block type material. I've tried using this because the effects that it will bring about will be quite similar to that of the generally used bone graft materials. Window repositioning was done. Sinus grafting was done and in number 14 and 15 in the buccal area, GBR was done. As shown, cortical bone perforation was done first. If you look below on the inner surface, FDBA cortical chip was used. Allograft was used, and on top, xenograft AOS was used to resist against remodeling. Collagen membrane was used with bone tack. In the past, I've used open membrane technique for GBR, but the results were not really good. Hopefully, I will be able to achieve better results. You can see that surgery was completed nice and clean. Next time, if opportunity arises, I'd like to share the online surgery clip of when the implants will be placed here. And I want to give you an overview of what has transpired. I've decided to dedicate more time for healing. Many people say that after four months you can place implants, but my plan is to wait five months for implant placement. When you do sinus graft and augmentation GBR at the same time, in my case, I do sinus first and then move on to GBR. There's no special reason, but if you do sinus first, then you don't need to worry about it any longer and proceed with the GBR. So that is my preferred method. By doing this, you can reduce surgical time because surgical time is considered critical in such cases. It can minimize the various complications the patient may encounter after surgery and reduce swelling as well. That being said, apart from what's been discussed, it's just a general surgery. Thank you for watching my surgical clip.